Hey everybody, I'm Oler's Wallet. Recently I opened up two credit cards and the other day, those cards came in the mail. So we're gonna unbox these credit cards and then we're also gonna review them. But first, if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about credit cards, credit card rewards, and showing you how you can use your points and miles to travel for less. So that's something that interests you, consider subscribing and turning the bell notification on as well. Also, considering the video a thumbs up, it really does help the channel out. Now, Bank of America isn't a bank that gets much of tension because their cards are relatively unimpressive. Although I think they have a few cards worth looking at. If you remember, the Premium Rewards credit card was a card that was on my wish list for 2020. And I'll explain why this card was so high up on my list towards the end of this video. Now, I've actually been denied for this card twice already. But I recently moved over some old 401k money from a previous employer to a Merrill Edge account which makes Bank of America very happy. And because they're happy, they now like me and are willing to give me some of their credit cards. And when I applied for this card for the third time, Bank of America finally approved me for it. So let's take a look at what was inside the envelope they sent. First off, let's take a look at what they came in the card. So right off the bat, we have our card. It's not a metal card. So for, for those of you who are interested in metal credit cards, you're gonna be disappointed knowing that it is plastic. But for me, I don't care about metal. It's perfectly fine. It's gonna go in my mobile wallet anyways, and you'll see why it's gonna be in me for the long term as well. They do send a piece of paper letting you know what your bonus is gonna be, which I think is kind of nice because sometimes you open up a credit card and you don't remember what terms you signed up for. So they let you know right here once you get the paperwork, which is always nice. You also get your card member agreement, some facts what they can and can't share. They also sent out uh, something to you of what, what your credit score is, as well as what your percentile is better than other people in the country. So right now I'm actually at an 826 for my credit score, and it's better than 93% of US consumers, which, you know what, I'm pretty happy with. 826 means I have a lot of room to play with in this credit card game. But that's pretty much what came inside this here. Nothing spectacular, you wouldn't really expect that because it's not a super premium luxurious card. The second card I opened was a Bank of America cash rewards credit card. And this is actually my second cash reward card. And I promise this will all make sense in a few minutes to you. But I did review this card a few months ago after they updated it. So I'll link it up in the description below. So if you wanna watch that review, you can do so. And this one comes in a very similar format. You have the credit card, it's a red credit card. It is plastic again, so you know, no flex value for you people out there that like that metal card. It is a World MasterCard, so it is going to get those World MasterCard benefits, such as cell phone protection, which I really like. It has a no, it's a no fee credit card as well. And this card here, it, I'm going to get a $200 cash back bonus after spending $1,000 in the first 90 days, which I've already done because I've just bought another MacBook Pro uh, because I can't stand the 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 butterfly keyboard on the one I have now. I've had multiple letters break, so. I needed to get a better one, I guess, because when you work on your computer all day, you, you want it to work. So, and it's got some updated stuff for video editing, which I don't know if you're into that or not, but you know, since I make videos, it's good to have something that can edit videos a little bit better. But that is what is in the envelopes here. But anyways, let's get to the review of the premium reward credit card. Now, one of the first things we should look at is the application considerations for these cards, because Bank of America has some rules and they're different based on your banking status with them. Bank of America is a bit harder on you if you don't bank with them, but there are reports if you were to put up to $1,500 in a checking account or a CD with them, it does the trick and loosens them up a little bit. But Bank of America has what's called the 234 rule for people who do bank with them, which means they'll approve a person for two credit cards in a 30 day period, three cards in a 12 month period, and four cards in a 24 month period. And another restriction is if you do keep money with Bank of America, they will not approve you if you've had seven or more cards in the last 12 months from any bank. And if you don't bank with Bank of America, they will deny you if you've opened three or more cards in the last 12 months from any bank. So you can see Bank of America looks to offer more products to people who bank with them, and they have tighter restrictions on people who don't bank with them. Now, the sign up bonus for the Bank of America Premium Rewards credit card, it comes with a 50,000 point bonus worth $500 after spending $3,000 in the first 90 days. And this is one of the best cashback bonuses out on the market right now. The Premium Rewards credit card is gonna earn two points per dollar on all travel and dining, and then one and a half points per dollar everywhere else. 
And from a base level, these earning rates really aren't that impressive since it's essentially 2% back on travel and then 1.5% back everywhere else. And it really doesn't meet that 2% minimum threshold you should be earning on all of your purchases. But if you're part of the preferred rewards program, this can actually increase your credit card earning rate based on the amount of money you have with Bank of America or in Merrill Lynch or Merrill Edge account. And this is where these cards can get interesting. Because if you're a gold level member in the preferred reward program, you'll get a 25% bonus on all credit card spent, making the categories 2.5% for dining and travel, and then 1.88% on everything else. It's still not great, but it's better than the base level. If you're a platinum level member, you're going to get a 50% bonus on your credit card spend, making the categories 3% back on travel and dining, and then 2.25% everywhere else, making it a decent option for travel and dining as well as for non-bonus spend. But if you're a Platinum Honors member, this is where things get really good because you get a 75% bonus on your credit card spend, making those categories 3.5% for travel and dining, and then 2.63% back on your non-bonus spend. And those are both solid earning rates. And I really think to make the earning rates on the premium reward credit card worth your time, you do want to be in that Platinum member to Platinum Honor level status. This is where you get a lot better earning rates on the credit cards. Now, taking a look at the annual fee, the premium reward credit card, it does come with a $95 annual fee and that's not waived in the first year. It also comes with no foreign transaction fees, but even with its $95 annual fee, it does have some benefits that could make this card worth it for you. Taking a look at our redemption options. When it comes to redemptions, you have a few options for the premium reward credit card, but they all involve cash back. Because while Bank of America advertises this card as points, you can redeem your rewards into your Bank of America checking or savings account, put it into a Merrill Edge or Merrill Lynch account, get a statement credit, or even redeem them for gift cards. And for me personally, I'm just going to end up putting this money into my account. Now taking a look at the other benefits. The premium reward credit card has a few benefits and I think they're actually pretty decent benefits for a card that comes with a $95 annual fee. First, you're going to receive a $100 airline credit each calendar year. That means you can get two to three airline credits for your first annual fee, depending on when you open the credit card, and that's actually pretty good. And the airline credit is good for select US domestic airlines, but unlike American Express, you don't need to select an airline in order to use this credit. It's actually pretty user friendly in that regard. Although Bank of America doesn't provide a list of covered airlines, so you do want to keep checking data points over on Flyer Talk where they have a running sheet of data points showing where you can use that airline credit. And then there are data points also showing that this airline credit works on gift cards as well, which you can't do with American Express anymore. Then you'll also receive a TSA pre-check or global entry credit every four years. But really, there are so many cards giving this benefit out now. It's nice for them to offer it, but it's just so easy to get this now from other cards. I really don't even consider this a true benefit anymore. But for a card with a $95 annual fee, Getting a $100 airline credit is still pretty good. I mean, we don't see this even offered on the Chase Sapphire Preferred, right? And I value the airline credit around $80, so this would drop my effective annual fee to about 15 bucks. Then this card also comes with travel protections. You're gonna receive trip delay coverage, which is good for up to $500 per ticket for trips that are delayed 12 hours or more. And this is the equivalent of what you'd get with the Chase Sapphire Preferred. You'll also get up to $5,000 of trip cancellation or trip interruption coverage per person per trip. You get baggage delay coverage, which you'll receive up to $100 per day for up to $500 total. If your bag is delayed six hours or more, you also get lost luggage reimbursement. So why on earth was the premium reward credit card on my wish list? And why did I get a second cash reward credit card? When you look at these cards, neither one of these scream impressive credit cards. But earlier, I mentioned I moved money from an old 401k from a previous employer over to Merrill Edge. And in doing so, I'm becoming a Platinum Honors member within that Bank of America Preferred Reward Program. So since I'm becoming a Platinum Honors member, I'm going to receive that 75% bonus on my credit card earning rates, which means my cash reward credit card is going to be earning me 5.25% on the purchases I make with it. And I've currently selected dining and online shopping for my category to earn that 5.25%. And because you can change out the categories each month, if I needed to switch it to one of the other categories such as home improvement, I can do that and still earn five and a quarter percent, which is awesome. And with the premium reward credit card earning three and a half percent back on travel and dining, and then 2.63% back on non-bonus spend, those are pretty solid earning rates as well. 
And with these earning rates and its effective annual fee, I do need to run the numbers against my altitude reserve to see if this card can replace the altitude reserve in my wallet. And I know the travel protections on the premium reward credit card aren't as good as the altitude reserve, but they could just be good enough for me. But that will be for another video though. See, the premium reward credit card is definitely down the list of cards people think of, but the fact it comes with a $100 airline credit and it's only $95 a year could make this a decent card for people. But ideally, I think this card is gonna be better suited for people who are in the platinum to platinum honors level of the Bank of America preferred reward program. And if you are part of those tiers, then some of these Bank of America cards could be even more lucrative for you. So tell me, what do you think of the Bank of America premium reward credit card? Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in this video. If you wanna help support the channel, a simple way would be using links on the website or in the description below. And until next time, safe travel and take care.